With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is, if the length of a simple pendulum is doubled, then the percentage change in the time period is. So we know that the time period of a simple pendulum is given by the formula t equals to 2 pi. This is the time period of simple pendulum 2 pi under root L upon G where L is length and G is acceleration. Now this is the initial time period. Now in the question they are saying length is doubled. That means after double the length the time period can be written as the final time period. Suppose it is t dash that is equals to 2 pi under root. 2L length is doubled upon G and we have to calculate the percentage change in percentage change in time period. So the percentage change is given by delta T that can be written as final minus initial upon initial in 200. This is the percentage change. Now putting all the values, the value of T dash is 2 pi under root 2L upon G minus 2 pi under root L upon G upon initial that is 2 pi under root L upon G into 100. This is the percentage change in time pendulum. After, uh, after calculating this, we will have the value as this value is coming out to be root 2 minus 1 upon 1 because 2 pi under root L upon G, 2 pi under root L upon G and 2 pi under root L upon G is cancel out. So, we will have root 2 minus 1 upon 1 into 100. Now the value of root 2 is basically equals to 1.414. So putting this value I will have 1.414 minus 1 that is 41, 1 .414, 0.414 0 0.414 into 100. So this value is coming out to be 41.4 percent. This is the percentage change in time period if we double the length 41.4 percent so let's check the options the second option which is 41.4 percentage is the correct correct option okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today